Hello. No, sorry. Hello. I am Ludwig from Markovell. This is Keeper from Markovell. She will not be in this video. I just brought her here to get your attention. And now that I have it, bye Keeper. And hello and welcome to Kickstart. In this video, I will be demonstrating how we can use our Microbellum library to drop in products into our model space. As I mentioned, I'm Ludwig from Microbellum and let's kickstart this fat cat. Not, not you, Keeper. You get it. Alrighty, and here we are back in our Kickstart project and in our Kickstart kitchen. At the moment, it's not really looking much like a kitchen. In fact, all I have on my screen is a couple of walls and a door to boot. However, we're going to be changing all that by dropping in some cabinets onto our screen. First, we need to find those cabinets. And those cabinets are going to be under my Draw tab over here. And straight into the sub tab, Draw Products. And it's within Draw Products that my cabinets are going to be easy to access. So from here, you want to go up to this drop down list up the top here. And it's within here that there are some categories for which my cabinets are saved under. You can see there's three main categories in my library here, being the Microvellum Foundation Library, one of them being the fixtures and extruded products, the frameless cabinetry, and the office furniture. Next to them, I can see some plus buttons. Click on that, it can expand down to some subcategories within the main ones. You can see I've selected base cabinets, and within that are my base cabinet products. So now I need to actually select one of these guys and place it on the screen. So I'm just going to quickly switch to a top view. Just going to use my cube over here. It's going to rotate it with these happy little arrows. And I want to place a cabinet right on this wall over here and pretty much anchor it right to the right hand side. Pretty much put the right hand corner of my cabinet to this point here. So I'm going to click on the cabinet I want to use by left clicking and then right clicking to give me the options on how I can place my cabinet. Now I cannot emphasize this enough please left click and then right click. If you do not left click first, you are not selecting the cabinet you are using and it's going to default to the top one. So left click first and then right click. So I'm going to left click based on this base one door, give them a right click and I'm going to use this option over here first. I'm going to use place product on wall and within that I've got different options on how I would like to place this product on the wall. Anchor left, anchor center and anchor right. So because I'm going to be working from the right hand side of my wall, I'm going to be going to anchor right. And from here, it's going to ask me, well, which wall would I like to place my cabinet onto? Specifically, where would I like to butt the back of my cabinet onto? Since this wall here is looking nice and ready to have a cabinet on there, I'm going to click on this wall here and enter. So now that I've clicked on the wall that I'd like to place my cabinets on, it's now going to ask me, well, where along the wall would you like to place your cabinet? Now you can see if I move my mouse around, it's going to say, well, you can move them here or there or anywhere you want. I want to move them close to this corner here. And in fact, if I hover my mouse right into this corner, you can see that green square pop up. And this green square is called a snap point. And this specific square is called an end point. It's pretty much saying this is the very end of the wall. However, I can offset off that point if I would like to. So you can see there's a little circle right where that wall is. That circle is pretty much the zero, zero point of my wall. So if I pretty much had typed in zero, it would go to that point there. However, if you typed in a different number, it's going to offset off that point by that number. So if I go ahead and type in 18 and enter, when it drops in the cabinet, it's going to offset at 18 mil. Once you drop in a cabinet, or once you're about to drop in a cabinet, this guy over here is going to pop up. And this guy is called your product prompts. And he's pretty much what we're going to be using to drive our cabinets to get them to the shape and form that we would like. So the main area that I have over here is the main tab. And within that, I can adjust the main things, such as my width, height, and depth. It's within here that I can also add some additional features to my cabinets, such as applied panels, a shadow line finger pull, or some finish end construction. I can also add some internal options, whether it's shelves, pigeonholes, or inner drawers. I can adjust my face options, such as my door swings. Since this is a base cabinet, I can do left, right, or even a drop down, as well as some door reveals if need be. I can also adjust some kick options, such as my kick panel, any countertop options, or any hardware options. 
I can also go back to main tab. And within main tab, I have a few of these green tick boxes here. And these are used to hide and unhide other tabs. For example, show construction options. If I click on him, now I've got a construction options tab appearing up the top, where I can change how my cabinet is gonna be constructed together. However, I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, drop this cabinet in, and you can see there is now my cabinet, albeit offset by that 18 mil that I typed in. Now, why do I offset them by 18 mils? Because I wanna add in an applied end to this cabinet. How do I add in an applied end? Through product prompts. However, we closed it, but we can bring him back. So to bring back our product prompts, we're gonna go down to the modify tab down below here. We're gonna to go to the modify products, and we're gonna to go to the product prompts button over here. Click on him and click on the cabinet that you'd like to adjust. Now it's gonna bring back my product prompts for this cabinet here, this same interface that we went to not long ago. And since I would like to add an applied end, I'm gonna go over to this tick box over here, write applied end, give him a tick, and give him an okay. And that's now gonna redraw my cabinet with that updated change. This snazzy little end panel right over here. Now I've got one cabinet, but I'd like to add another one. Let's double it. So let's add a cabinet right next to this guy over here. So we're gonna go back to our draw tab. I'm gonna stick with my base cabinets and I'm gonna scroll down this list and I'm gonna use this handsome base under counter oven. So left click, right click, and this time I'm gonna go place product next to another product. Click on him and I'm gonna click on this cabinet over here to place him next to it. When you click on him, it's gonna say, well, which side of the cabinet would you like to place this new one? On the left-hand side of him, on the right-hand side. I'm gonna stick with the left-hand side and hit okay. It's gonna bring up now the product prompts for this cabinet and you can see it's very similar to the cabinet we used before. And that's because in the Minecraft Gravel Foundation library, the product prompts are very similar across the board. A lot of them have the same options, the same tick boxes that can be used with some small differences. For example, this one, has an oven opening height. Well, it's a base one door, didn't have it because, well, it didn't have an oven inside of it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And there is cabinet number two. So I've got two handsome little cabinets over here. In fact, I can actually view him in different views by using the view cube over here, or if I hold shift, press down on the wheel of my mouse, AKA Mr. Wheelie, move him around, and now I can view it in a 3D view. Now, you don't have to be in a plan view to drop in your cabinet. In fact, I'm going to drop in another cabinet in this view over here. Although this time, I'm going to drop in a corner cabinet. So, a corner cabinet is a special cabinet that just needs two walls to place the cabinet onto. So, I'm going to go to this drop down list. I'm going to go straight down to my tall corner cabinets. And I'm going to go to tall corner cabinet over here. Give them a left click and a right click, and this time, because it's a corner cabinet, a unique cabinet that has a unique option of dropping itself in by picking two walls to place a cabinet. Click on this option, and I just need to click on two walls, and it's gonna find the intersecting corner of those walls there. So I'm gonna click on this one, and this one over here, and just hit enter once I've clicked on the two walls. Now it's gonna bring up the product prompts for this corner unit. Again, very similar to what we've seen before, and again, I'm gonna add in a right applied end. Go to hit okay. And there is now my corner cabinet. All looking all handsome and all ready to go. So I'm gonna go back to our top view because now I can see that there's a bit of a space, there's a bit of an opening between my tall cabinet and my oven unit. So I'm gonna drop in not one, but two cabinets at once, and we're gonna use them to fill this space here. So I'm gonna go back to my drop down list. I'm gonna go this time to my base draw bank, because I wanna drop in a draw unit this time. So I'm gonna drop in a three draw base. I'm gonna give them a left click, a right click, and this time I wanna go fill wall with products. So I'm gonna click on this option here, and similar to place product on wall, I need to first click on the wall that I'd like to put my cabinet on. Give him an enter, and now this guy is gonna pop up. And this guy's pretty much gonna be, well, 
how many cameras would you like to drop in? Where would you like them to be? What width would you like them to be? And we can all do that through the screen here. So first off, since I clicked on this wall, it's saying, well, you want to place cabinets all along this whole wall here, do you? Well, not in this instance. I just want to put them in this opening here. So I'm going to go to pick points. I'm going to go from this point over here. So you can see there's a snap point. Give him a left click. Go over to this point here. Give him also a left click. And you can see it's giving me an opening of 1915.9999999. We'll just round it up to 1916. However, what we can also do is we can say, well, I'd like to place two cabinets at this point here in this opening. So if I type in two, you can see now it's giving me a product width of pretty much this guy divided by two. Hit OK. It's now going to bring up the product prompts. And with one little difference, this guy's now got a quantity of two. So now if I hit OK, you will see not one, but two cabinets appear at once all fitting nice and snug within that opening over there. So far, my kitchen is looking quite all right, but the fun doesn't have to stop there. We can still add another cabinet to this side over here, and I might add some overheads up the top over here as well. So we're gonna go to a Southwest view. So I'm just gonna go another way we can change our view is by using this option over here. And we can use these Southwest or South east isometric views. So I would like to place some overheads all along this wall over here. So I'm going to go back to my drop down list. And again, I'm going to go down to the category that I want to use my cabinets from being upper cabinets. And since I want to have about three cabinets along this wall here, I'm going to go to my upper two door, I'm going to give them a left click and a right click, then I'm going to go fill wall with products. Again, click on this wall over here and enter. Now again, it's going to specify me, well, where along this wall would you like to fill this product? So I'm going to go pick points. I'm going to say what I'm work. I want to go from this cabinet over here to this point of the wall. So I mean, yep, this measurement here is 1984. So if I have one cabinet, that one cabinet's width is going to be that 1984. However, I'm going to go over here, change that to three, and they are now going to be equally sized cabinets along that wall there. Hit OK. And OK. And there are now three cabinets for me to have on the screen here. Now, finally, I'm going to go place one more cabinet over here. And I'm going to make it just another tall cabinet. Just going to go down here to my tall cabinets. And we're just gonna do a, let's do a two door tall, left click, right click, and I can place place product next to another product and I can click on this cabinet over here. What I can also do is that you can also snap onto another cabinet using your place product on wall. So I'm gonna to go to this guy, go anchor right. Now I want the back of my cabinet to go into this wall here. So I'm gonna click on this wall, enter, and I can snap onto this cabinet over here by zooming into a corner and finding that green square. Click on that point there, and that's now gonna put a cabinet right up to that point there. Hit OK. And there is that big fella right next to him. Now there's one more way that I haven't showed you yet that you can also use to drop in your cabinets. Now you don't necessarily need a wall to drop in your cabinets. You can put them in any open space. In fact, I'm gonna go put in a nonchalant base cabinet. So I'm gonna to go to base cabinets. Just gonna do just a two door base. Give it a left click and a right click. I'm gonna to go to the fourth option. Place product has select point. Click on him and click any point of your screen with a simple left click and hit okay. And that's now put that cabinet right there in open space. And that about wraps it up for this video here. Once again, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. As usual, I'm Ludwig from Marco Take care and have a wonderful day.